Hey, Glam Fam. It's my beautiful wife, Allison. <laughs> and it's my beautiful wife, Allison. Hey, guys. And myself, Linwood, here. Um, let me, you know, let me, let me adjust this just a, just a smidge. I feel like it looks like we're out of focus. Okay, God. Okay, so today we are doing a wig review for Royal Me. Uh, um, we haven't seen the wig yet. So this is how it came packaged. Anytime that you order something from them, this is how you receive it, which I feel like is a really nice touch, especially if you're getting it for a gift for someone else. All right, let's rip this baby apart and see what's happening. What's happening? Now, for those who are new to the channel, because we've been seeing a lot of new subscribers lately, welcome, welcome to the Glam Fam. Um, both of us are licensed cosmetologists, but I'm more comfortable in front of the camera, so Allison always insists on me being here for these wig reviews. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's nice. It's in a nice satin bag, uh, that way you can have something to store your wig in later to where it's not going to dry out and be all crazy. Like, girl, um, I got the, did you get your wig? Girl, I got it right here, don't worry. <laughs> it also makes for a nice travel bag for like, you know, your personals. Um, they did include a stocking cap in there, which is a, actually probably a better color for you than the one you have on. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. And then there's two clips in the box, that's it. Uh, this wig here is called Katie, and um... Yeah, let's, can we take the hearing aid off? I feel like I we can never them, see it. I need them to see the whole situation. Like, uh-uh. Okay. So, look, like, look at this, y'all. This is how it came out of the box. It already has these curls in here. Uh, although, dang, that was almost my cornea. <laughs> um, <laughs> although, I will say, usually when you are getting these wigs, they do come curl, but don't think that, like, if you live somewhere humid, things like that, those curls won't fall. This hair is straight. Uh, knots are already pre-bleached, and the hairline has been pre-plucked or pre pre tweed so it's not looking like a Barbie hairline. So that's, yeah, get on in there, girl, get on. There you go. This lace might be a little light for you, but we'll show you some different techniques with that if that happens to be the case. Okay, so this is a 13 by 6 T part wig. What that means is, I'm gonna get you scooted, there we go. So this distance here on the wig is 13 inches, and then the depth here in that parting space is six inches back. Um, and it's a 13 by 6 T part. So uh, a typical wig would be a 13 by 6 where this entire section out here is all uh, parting space and it kind of rounds out this way instead of cutting short. But this was as an attempt by the company to uh, make the wigs more affordable. That's what they told me anyway. So uh, that way you're not spending all of your coins on a wig. And then we have this strap here that is unhookable. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get in there. So you can hook that and unhook it if you really don't want it. It just comes out. Now the benefit of that is it helps to hold the lace down more snug to your head. So especially if you're one that doesn't like to do any types of glues or adhesives around the hairline, it gives you the option of holding it nice and snug uh, around the front. In the back, we still have the adjustable uh, straps there for the circumference of your head, which helps the wig to feel more secure so it's not sliding off while you're praising the Lord in church. Um, and it looks like you got some felt around the nape rather than having lace back there, which honestly, how does that feel to you? It's like, would you prefer having the felt or does it matter to you? Like, how do you feel with that? I one? prefer to have the felt over anything, but I don't know. I have such a small head that I kind of prefer nothing. Just cut it off, like, just... Oh, uh, gotcha. So not even the felt? Not even, just nothing, because you constantly have something that's rubbing. But I have a small head, so... Oh, oh, of course. And then the combs. I forgot to mention the combs. Yeah. Um, Just the two on the sides. Yeah, it's two on the sides and one long one in the nape. So, yeah, which a lot of people don't really care for the combs. So I've seen many people cut those out, especially if you have braids and things in that can actually pull a little bit tighter than most people care for it to. So, yeah, but they're there if you're one to where you're like, you know, I need these combs. These combs are life. Um, <laughs> then you've got them. Okay, so typically when you're putting these on, if you're new to this, uh, you would be basically placing the elastic band portion around your head first and then you kind of slide the back of the wig uh, on after that. So she starts off with that elastic band and then from there she's going to slide the rest of that wig forward. And then I'll just adjust the elastic band because um, the, other, the other band is not necessary. Okay, so what she's doing right now is the big black elastic band, she's adjusting that and it allows it to hold more secure on the lace around the front. So it's not sitting up like this in the front. <laughs> we don't need a duck bill. Um, it helps it to lay more secure around here. So it just looks more believable. It's looking like you might have to like get up in here. I don't know. Like it's lifting. I can't see nothing. I can't even see y'all. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can you move it closer? 
Okay, so I feel like by looking at this lace right now, it's definitely looking like we're gonna have to use some foundation to probably tint it a bit. Which, you, they do sell lace tints that you can purchase, but you can just put a little bit of foundation either underneath the wig or like right on top around that hairline area, and it'll help out with uh, giving you security there. Now Allison is currently showing you that even though they have the lesser parting space, you can still kind of toss it one way or the other and get some coverage there, which is nice. Cause usually I like, I don't really like us in a part all the time, but then again, I don't like any part really. I'm fine with that. So if you want to curl it, have it flowing this way or have it going that way. The nice thing to me is as you're doing that, like I'm not seeing tracks over here like, uh, uh, <laughs> no she didn't. <laughs> Even though like, I know they're there, but yeah, let me see. Okay, it's their placement. So they went ahead on the corners of the tracks, they rounded down. So that way uh, there's more hair kind of covering than there is anything else. Like y'all can see there, like, notice you don't see scalp, but you also don't see tracks. Look at God, that's a magic trick they performed right there. Cause honestly, I was over here like, how's this gonna look? But okay, okay. Y'all did your thing, all right. All right, all I'm gonna right. go ahead and take this off and get this lace, uh something done with this lace right quick. Well, I'm gonna cut it first and then I'll put the stuff on the lace. Okay, so if you haven't seen lace trim before, we've got several other videos on that, but we don't wanna waste your time. Your time is precious. It's precious, it's like a little baby. Um, so yeah, Allison's gonna go ahead and trim this off. I'm gonna kick off my shoes and relax my feet. Nope. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna use the different one because this one is like, um, this one is used to cover, it's tattoo. Ain't that the one you have on today? It is. Does the other one match? Yeah, I think so. Oh, don't be putting this on. This is too hard to spread. Don't be putting no white woman on a black woman. Don't be doing it. Don't be doing it. Oh, you gonna put a scarf on and tie the front down? Because when you had it on earlier, you were trying to pull it down to where you had a two head and that thing in the front was doing a duck bill situation. Oh, really? Yeah, I told you that earlier. I couldn't see it. I can't see it. I was trying to I took and told you. <laughs> Hold on. The camera's still on. <laughs> Lynn. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so I, I went and got my foundation. Who cares what kind it is? We're not, I'm not sponsoring them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They're not sponsoring us. <laughs> yeah, right. And we ain't got no money. <laughs> and I've got my little makeup brush to put it on because it's just easier that way. So I used to do it with my hand, but then it just got too messy. So I usually like to do it underneath. Then what if you could hold the wig, the wig it. Mm -mm, that's too much. So for those who don't know, maybe you haven't worn a lace frontal wig before, things like that. The reason why she's doing this is to help add some tint to the lace and make it more of her shade. That way it's not looking like, um, girl, your scalp need a tan. Um, or it's not leaving like a obvious line of demarcation where the wig begins and where your hairline ends and all that. So yeah, it just kind of helps out with making it a bit more of a believable illusion. Get the edge, yeah, get the edge. I usually turn the wig over to get the edge. Even if the, the makeup gets on the hair a little bit, it's okay. <laughs> Cause I felt you were gonna say, uh-uh. Okay, turn it in the other way. Uh-uh, that's too much. They can't see. If you look closely, the wild gazelle is applying her makeup to the wig. It's getting on quite a bit of the hair and the strands. Her hands are on the way of the camera, so you're having a difficult time seeing. And she's applying more makeup to me than she is to the wig. It's a tragedy, really. Because you can wipe off the, the hair off the... I mean, you can wipe the makeup off the hair. That's fine. This is not his shade. Obviously. <laughs> All right, so hopefully it's okay now. Okay. So while you're doing this, I'm gonna go wash this makeup off my hands because now I look like, do you even wash? Do you bathe? Like, yeah. No. <laughs> Oops. Oh. All right, so I'm going to go in, spray it down, and put the um. With this. 
Yeah. She's gonna basically spray the hairline uh, with this to secure it down. It's just a hairspray. And then from there, she's going to tie it down with the scarf to help it hold secure to her skin until it dries down. Um, now, you can use adhesives, things like that, but Allison is one of those that changes her wigs like she changes her drawers. So sometimes she has two and three wigs on a day. I, I don't understand why. Anyway. Because the situation changes. If you go into Walmart right quick for a second, which, let me not even go there. Anyway, <laughs> so I just put on a hat and go. Who cares? But if I know I'm going to Target, I'm being there for a while. I might see somebody that I work with, and they won't recognize me unless I have my wig on. I'm telling you, yeah, like, like that even <laughs> matters. I don't even want folks to recognize me. Like... Who is no, that? I like, I like my coworkers and stuff. I like it's not even about like, no, oh, my, is that your son? He's so cute. You my know. coworkers would recognize me no matter how things are because they know me like that. Your coworkers must not know you. Um, no, they don't. <laughs> anybody else try, I try to see you? <laughs> like for why? I'm here to buy uh, like stuff that we need for the house just like you are. Deuces. We're back. So Allison has installed the wig. You want to lean on in, let them see the deeds. See mm. and let me zoom y'all in because she playing. She acting like she don't know how this goes. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, I had a little complications um, just because the Jeez. wig is a little big for me. Like I said, I got a small head, so. So basically, it's big head friendly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Why your child always got to bust in? Because she thinks she's a she movie star. Bust it, but look at her. What are you doing? Is everybody in the house? Yeah, everyone is in the house. Close the door and get out. Lena, you're not going to bring all your toys. <laughs> Just give us a few minutes. <laughs> Take this, girl. Go in the playroom. You got my hands, but you didn't got my body. Okay. That's why your butt crack is showing. Meow. Girl, here. See you later. Bye. Love you. Bye. Meow. Uh, bye. Go in the playroom, Lena. If y'all want a five-year-old, just let us know in the comments. Don't let us know, because we ain't giving it up. <laughs> you know, I probably should have looked up the price of the wig. It's every All the information that you'll need is going to be linked in the description box below. I want to say it was like around $190 uh, starting price, and then it goes up based on the link that you select um, and the type of lace that you get. But yes, so you can kind of see here, Allison did customize some to make the lace match her skin tone a bit more. Uh, she did go ahead and apply it, but she got a pea head, and this was made for <laughs> like a XYZ head, apparently. Um, so yeah, so it was a little bit more work in terms of securing and all that for her. But I don't know, honestly, I feel like it's always better to have a wig that's a little too large than a little too small. Because if it's too small, you just stuck. It's just sitting up on top of your head like a hat, but not even like a good fitting hat. Just like one of those, you know, like those little, um, once the people on a little motorcycle be wearing. I like the color variation right there at the end. Yeah, it looks good. It's not too much, it's nice and subtle. So like if you're wanting to flirt with color, you know what I'm saying? Like this is, I feel like a nice wig to go for if you're not super into like bright, loud colors. Yeah, and it doesn't just like, um, it like blends really line. nice, yeah. I did not put any curls in here, so literally I have been in this video for absolutely nothing. Um, so yes, uh, because these are the curls that it came with. So I don't have any complaints with it. The hair feels nice. Um, it looks good. Despite the fact there's not a ton of lace, I feel like the fact that you can still kind of wear it any way that you want to is uh, something that's nice. But um, if you're looking for- it's pretty flat too. Yeah, if you're looking for like that defined parting though, you may not like it. You might want to go for like one of their five by fives because that'll at least give you the whole space at the top of your head to part. But then you won't have the coverage here. Mm -hmm. It's a regular wig cap there. But yeah, we hope that you've enjoyed our, uh, our well, it's not really been like a petty video. It's been pretty plain for us. Mm -hmm. We haven't been over the top. We tired. True. I would definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, they're one of the companies that we enjoy because they really take so much to work out for you at the pre-tweezing, the pre-bleaching. Um, it's just, to me, I feel like, the, oh, and the coloring. And even like when you get it out of the bag and it's already styled, like, child. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice because we really might like be hairstylists, them. but we lazy. Yeah. There's so many heads in this house to comb. Like, that's, like you got a head to comb and then a head to comb. That's too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> braid your hair up underneath and on top. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. Um, anyway, like, we didn't even braid her hair down for this video. She was like, you know what? I'm going to just pin this back. 
throw this stock and cap on. We're going to call it what it is. Um, so, yeah. But if you're interested, check out all the links in the description box down below. And um, we hope that you enjoyed it. If so, do us a favor. Click the like button. And if you're not a part of the Glam Fam, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We're good people. We haven't even cussed <laughs> you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't trying to steal nothing from you. We not talking about you behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Like, you family. Until next time, take care. God bless. And stay glam. Bye, you know guys. we love you, boo. <laughs> Bye.